we're really excited about Monday. Um, we've waited a long time to have a full school once again. Uh, everything that we've put into place, uh, we hope, will, will mean that we're absolutely ready. We're, we already feel like we're quite well prepared. Um, we've got measures that, uh, that mean that it's safe for parents and safe for, for children. At the point of entry to the school, um, we've been very, very careful that we've got um, signage with the times for parents. Um, it's really clear then which entrance they're going to be using. We've got multiple entrances to make sure that we don't have parents all arriving on mass at one entrance to the school. Then when we come into the building, onto site, we've got all of the, the markings, two metre gaps with our markings and a one-way system in place. It's, it's been a, a really interesting time because we're, we're putting things in place that we never thought we would have to. Parents will follow the route round with their children and then they'll arrive at our external sinks which are on both sides of the building. So our external sink units here are fully signed up and instructions in terms of how to, to safely wash hands. All the sinks are spaced at two metre intervals to make sure that we've got social distancing in place as well at this point. We've had to respond um, to, to the changing times, which we, we feel we've handled very, very well. So as parents walk through with their children, they will be leaving their children in either external classroom doors or through in the main playground. We have our markings throughout so that there's a very clear one-way system with spacing in between. Children will arrive with parents and be dropped off at their classroom. We've got individual packs for the children so that they don't need to share resources in any way. Each of our lines is very, very clearly marked so that when children do arrive in the morning, they'll arrive in the traffic cones to note the lines which are painted onto the playground at two metre intervals where the children will wait in line. We wanted to keep as much of a, a, a normal classroom feel as, as is possible, um, but at the same time, obviously, health and safety is, is critically important. So trying to make sure that classrooms are clinical and, and sterile is really important but at the same time that it doesn't have a clinical feel to them. Our Key Stage 2 children will come through this entrance, they have individual sinks which have been installed at this point as well so they can all wash their hands and then move immediately into the building without having to wait outside. Straight into the building, again two metre intervals marked out throughout and at the main hall the children will then be divided off and the classrooms routes are marked out and denoted on the floor. So on entry to the classrooms we've got hand wash reminders, clear signage, we've also got a quarantine book box for reading books which come back into school and they will remain in there then for 72 hours. On each of the tables for the children we've got an individual pack and their planners. The packs have pens, pencils, glue sticks, uh, mathematics resources, all of those are on the tables in front of the children and ready. We've opted, um, much is the case with most schools, to have a learners side by side facing the front because then there's, there is very little face-to-face -face interaction um, and it means that that's the safest way of them learning. And again, making the most of the space in the classroom, making sure there are two metres between the chairs on the rows and then giving the teacher space to deliver lessons from the very, very front. And every classroom also has a please stay in your seat sign on the board as a not so subtle reminder to the children that once they're in that classroom, um, apart from an emergency or, or toileting that they actually need to remain in their seats to prevent any risk of, of, of viral transfer. Every classroom has its own sink area. Obviously there's clear signage on the sinks, reminders about the children washing their hands. We haven't seen them for a long, long time. Um, some of our children we haven't seen since March. We've been maintaining regular contact with those families. We've used an online platform, learning platform, uh, and we've had a really strong response to that. Um, probably around 75% of our children have been engaging on an almost daily basis. Um, and it's been a great system of, of messages between parents and teachers. Um, so we hope that we feel that we've, we've kept them very, very well informed uh, and given them all the information that they needed throughout and, and that they are keen, as keen to come back as we're keen to have them back.